Hey everyone, Ruben here from Morales. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at something brand new today. It's called Cortex. Cortex is one of our new products. It's an AI layer for our on-chain data. It lets you ask crypto questions in plain English and get accurate real-time answers from on-chain data, all of which is powered by the Morales crypto data layer. In this video, we'll be giving you a quick demo of Cortex in action how you can literally build your own AI chatbot in about 10 seconds or less with a single prompt, as well as taking a look at some of the different endpoints that are powering Cortex behind the scenes. But what is Cortex? What is MCP? What is the technology we're using here? Cortex is powered by our new MCP server. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol Server. And it's what connects your natural language question to the blockchain. It's what figures out what you're asking, pulls the right context, looks up the right endpoint, pulls all of this together and works with whatever model you're using to return a super accurate on-chain response. It's what lets you say something, who are the top holders of Pepe or what's the floor price of Azuki right now and get back an answer that's accurate and backed by real indexed on-chain data. There are two ways to interact with Cortex. The first is to use the self-hosted MCP package yourself. This is available as a GitHub repo or an NPM package and allows you to grab a copy of this, spin it up locally, connect it to your backend, have full control with how you use it and which models you integrate with it. So that could be Claude, could be GPT, could be any, any model you so wish. The second way to integrate with it is our Cortex API. This is a Morales hosted endpoint that allows you to ask a question and get back a response. This API allows for streaming as well, which is perfect for those chatbots, AI agent style features where you ask a question and you get the answers coming back to you in real time. What, how does this compare to ChatGPT or any of the other tools where you can already ask a question and get responses back? The difference with Cortex and our own MCP is it's grounded with real on-chain data. It's truly aware of what's happening on chain and has access to all of our use case specific endpoints from metadata through to price action, through to holders, transactions, whatever it may be, to return super powerful, accurate, detailed answers to the questions you're asking. You can see here quickly at a glance how something like Cortex compares to GPT and it blows it away. There is, there's no comparison here. If you head over to the Morales docs and come to our Cortex section here, you'll see a, a bunch of different docs and resources. If you go to the getting started page, here there'll be two, you'll find two clear integration paths, one for Cortex API itself and one for MCP if you're taking the package and want to run it locally. For this video, we'll be taking a look at the API in a bit more detail. There's only a single endpoint right now, which is our chat endpoint. Step one is obviously getting your API keys. You need an API key to interact with this particular endpoint. Head over to the admin panel, grab your API key, and then you're ready to make your first request. In terms of the request, you can see it's super simple. We take in three parameters right now. First of all, the prompt or the question itself. This is in the example here, asking for a detailed analysis of Pepe holders. Streaming option, by default this is false, but it can be true. And when it's set to true, the response will be chunked and you'll get those real-time responses as the model is responding. And then thirdly, the model itself. Right now, we currently support GPT Nano and Mini and we ex expect to extend this soon. If you have particular requests, shoot them in the response and in the comments below, and we can look at prioritizing those for you. If you integrate the MCP server locally yourself, here is where you can integrate any type of model yourself. In terms of best results, Claude provides a really great response, but it's worth trying different versions to see which works best for your use case. 10s, 30s, 119, 400,000. Okay, so let's build the prototype here. I'll drop this prompt in the comments, but you can literally paste this prompt into ChatGPT or any other tool to generate 
a simple working HTML chatbot that uses Cortex API in about 10 seconds or however long it takes for the model to respond. So we'll grab this, we'll fire it into ChatGPT for this demo. That'll go ahead and create us this page. Perfect, so that's done. All we're gonna have to do is replace the API key. So let me grab this, chuck it in there. Let's see how it compares. Okay, slightly different styling, that's to be expected, but we've still got the model selector, streaming, chat function. So let me quickly grab my API key. I'll do that off screen for a sec. API key, API key. come back all right let's give this a whirl so we can ask what is the price of SPX let's say see the network okay so it's added the question it's fired off the API request here let's see what response aha uh -huh. response is back but the UI has failed us Okay, so we found the little typo bug there. Let's try this again. Let's say, what is the price of Toshi? Let's say, this should hopefully pick up the base Toki. Again, this is using search in the background to figure out the best contract and then return the price as expected. Nice. So yeah, now the world is your oyster. You can ask any questions. We can go for NFT related questions. What is the floor price of Paji? penguins let's say let's see if it figures this out this will be using various nft endpoints to locate the correct contract and then using that contract to look up floor prices via our floor price api this api integrates with other apis like OpenSea, blur etc and you can see cool yeah we have picked up pudgy penguins from blur let's see if this is looking correct what's the current 15.939 okay sweet with the rounding we're pretty much there um and yeah all endpoints we have on our evm and solana stack are integrated here like i said this demo app is not for production we've integrated from the front end we've exposed api keys etc but it gives you a really nice demo of just how easy it is to integrate with this single API endpoint and how many use cases it then unlocks. There may be a few bugs to iron out, but we're shipping improvements daily. If you have feature requests or UX issues, feedback, whatever it may be, let us know. We'll incorporate any feedback. And likewise, if you build something cool with Cortex, let us know. We'd love to feature any nice demos of this on X and any other socials you may be in. I hope this video has been useful and I will see you in the next one.